Namaste, so tribe, spiritual healer, back to give you a message. Hey, my beautiful Aries, my beautiful baby bosses, I love you guys, all my emperors watching this video, and empresses. I have an important message to share with you guys, okay? And um, <clears throat> I'm going to be doing fire sign video, uh, water sign video, air sign video, and earth sign videos. After I do this video, I'm going to be working on those as well. So I'm going to be posting them so everybody can watch their uh, in individual signs or, or, or elements, okay? Because there's a lot going on for you guys, Aries, and a lot going on for all the other zodiac signs as well. It's almost like... A lot of um, people in the collective are awakening to something, awakening to themselves. Basically, you're, you guys are awakening to yourselves, right? You're awakening to who you really are. Why am I here? What is my purpose? This is the main question that a lot of you guys have been asking your ancestors and your spirit guides to show you what is your purpose, to show you what you're supposed to be doing or to give you some sort of download. So you guys are going to be receiving some sort of download, some sort of message, some sort of like, um, it's almost like something is going to be a confirmation to you when you hear it, when you see it, that that's what you're supposed to be doing, that this is where your ancestors are guiding you, that this is the purpose that you have. Okay, beautiful Aries, the title of this video is that you were born into a family of dark magicians, but you are the light in this family, okay? So you guys are the bearer of light, the bearer of truth, the bearer of wisdom, the bearer of knowledge, okay? And the people that surround you in your family, in your, in your workplace, in your environment, in your communities, these are pretty much dark magicians because you don't resonate with these people. These people, they see, they see their lives in a different perspective than you, okay? So individuals around you, all they care about is money, greed, lust, sex, uh, gambling, or just like superficial things. These things that were put on um, in your lives to pretty much by the devil to distract you from what's important. Okay, so right now you need to keep your focus on what's important. And um, while I was channeling your energy, okay... One of my ancestors must be a poet or somebody that channels messages to me must be some sort of poet from back in time, okay? Because as soon as I tapped into you guys' energy, my beautiful Aries, I got this little poem out of nowhere. I was just writing down what Spirit was telling me, right? That was the message, which what is the most important message for my beautiful Aries, for their energy for today, because these are like daily, daily energy readings and things that come out in your reading could still be taking place. So when I asked Spirit that question, this is what I got. They started talking, but it was like a poem. So it was like a small poem, but it makes sense. It's your message, okay? So I'm going to read it to you guys. I didn't put a name on the poem, but I should name it Keep Your Focus. Keep your focus right now on what's important, okay? So this is what Spirit had to say when I was getting your messages. It says, keep your focus on what's important. The devil never wanted you to know this. You carry the power to destroy him. So these wicked people, avoid them. They are under judgment. Your gifts are being upgraded. You made it. Share your many talents. You will be a legend regardless. Wow. I'm just going to say that again. Keep your focus, okay, on what's important. Okay? The devil never wanted you to know that you carry the power to destroy him. So avoid these wicked people. They are under judgment. Your gifts are being upgraded. You made it. Share your many talents. You will be a legend regardless. Wow, that is a powerful message. And I'm going to leave it at that and pull some energy on this message because, like I said before, you guys have many talents, okay? You guys have ancient knowledge and wisdom. You guys have this beautiful creative spark. You are fire element, okay? You bring fire to the situation. You bring warmth to people's lives. You bring healing to other people, okay? Even though you were very wounded, even though that you've been through everything, every trial, every tribulation, Every obstacle, everything was thrown at you guys and you guys still can sit there and inspire another person when they're going through something dark. And that's how you know you are an earth angel. You were created in this, you were created in this demonic family so that you can bring light because you are the bearer of lights. 
okay? You were these people's karma anyways, okay? So it doesn't matter how they strategically plan. It doesn't matter how many lies they tell. It doesn't matter how they come and project themselves to you when they're shape-shifting in front of you. You see through that shit. You see right through them, okay? Because it's almost like you have an eagle eye's view of a situation. I heard eagle eye, okay? So the eagle eye, something is significant with the eagles. Maybe you guys are seeing a lot of eagles. Maybe you guys like the football team, the eagles, okay? That's going to resonate with someone watching because I am an eagles fan as well. Okay, so eagles, you could be seeing them. They could, You could have a spirit guide that's an eagle. You are like an eagle because you can see things from above. So you are like, you are looking at your situation from the outside right now. And you are reevaluating your lives. And you are noticing that all you see is darkness. All you see is people that are just wearing this fake facade in your life. Like this dark shadow that 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 just it, it embodies them, Okay. So whoever that is that's that's in your life or these people, they are being spiritually like, okay, so they are being like, their bodies are being snatched by these entities. Their bodies are being hijacked. They are they are shifting. They are changing. You don't recognize them anymore. They're, they're just like not even covering up the fact that they hate you or that they don't like you or that they're bothered by you or they're envious of you. Okay, these people can't even cover it up anymore. Okay, because the Most High God is shining light on these people's darkness and your gifts are mirroring these people's darkness back to you so you can see it, you can feel it, and you know it. Okay? So some of you guys are really praying heavily at this time, really praying for protection, really praying for guidance, really asking God to bring you a miracle, but your prayers have been heard. Your prayers are being answered. Follow your lead. Follow the ancestors' guidance because that will lead you right straight to your victory, okay? Some of you guys, my door just keeps on opening and closing by itself. I don't know if you guys can hear the door cracking, but um, that's a message. Everything that happens while I'm recording, while I'm channeling, that's a message for someone. Some of you guys are experiencing like things moving on their own, like the door opening and closing by itself, or weird noises in your home, okay? Do not be afraid. You guys are surrounded by a lot of spirits. You guys are surrounded by a lot of ancestors. You guys have the power to shift and move things with your mind if you really concentrate on it, okay? You have a lot of gifts, many, many, many gifts, okay? So I just seen the vision of a golden child, right? Like, um, you know, I don't know if any of you guys ever watched Watch the movie Golden Child with Eddie Murphy, okay? Somebody's last name could be Murphy, okay? Or first name that you guys know, okay? That's just a side message. I said Eddie Murphy. Someone's name could be Eddie, Edith, Aaron, okay? Elaine. I heard Jeremiah, but I'm going to get back to what I was saying. The movie by Eddie Murphy is basically with the Golden Child. It's an old movie. It's like an 80s movie, I feel, I, I believe, or an 80s flick. Okay? And in this movie with Eddie Murphy, he is going, he is investigating about this child that has been kidnapped from another third world country because this child was the golden child. This child possessed so many gifts. And in this movie, it was almost like the spiritual battle on earth that we're having now. So the devil, okay, the darkness wanted this child, wanted to sacrifice this child because this child possessed many, many gifts. This child can move things. This child can make you see things. This child is, it, it, it's, this child survived on eating like leaves and plants. This child did not consume any meat. For, so for some of you guys, you might be um, not eating meat at this time or like going on a strict diet, becoming vegan, drinking cachava. Yeah, some of you guys are drinking cachava. So am I. Okay, that's what Spirit said. But like some of you guys are, are just like um, reflecting on a lot of things and you're like this golden child like in the movie Eddie Murphy. Search it up if you never saw it. It's called The Golden Child. And um, they had him in this little cage. Okay, so your family wanted to keep you in this little cage so that way you wouldn't know your gifts, so you wouldn't know your strength. An invisible cage over your energy by by manipulating you, okay, by targeting you, okay, by playing um, reverse psychology, mind tricks on you, confusion spells, gaslighting, okay, a series of spiritual attacks in your life to put you on a dark path, to have you go through certain things, to send these, these karmic lovers into your lives, 
Okay, but now this is your breaking point. This is this is almost like your um your breakthrough, Aries. Your major breakthrough. And you guys got through the darkness and you came out on the other side. So ain't nothing gonna stop you now. Ain't nothing gonna stop me now. I will not follow the crowd. I don't know. I just made that up. <clears throat> so you guys, ain't nothing stopping you now. You will not follow the crowd. You're standing up in your own power. You are a boss. So nobody can really tell you what to do. Okay? You can only be influenced by people. But no one can actually make you do what you don't want. Okay? That's the good thing about you guys. New directions. Yeah, you guys, your life is headed in a whole nother direction, in a whole nother way, okay? Because you started to see outside that box. You started to see another higher perspective of what your life could be if these people wasn't in your life creating challenges and obstacles, lying to you about everything, where you come from, okay, that you have sacred gifts. They, want, they never wanted you to know this, okay? Because the devil knew you can always destroy him. You are the, the truth, and you are the light, and you are connected to the Most High God. You have God DNA, okay? So you are headed in a new direction. Somebody could be 45 watching or listening to this reading. Yeah, Lorelai. Someone could be 31, but Lorelai energy, this is the intuitive energy I'm talking about, okay? You guys are so in tune with nature, with um, your synchronistic numbers and messages that you get every day. You cannot make that up. Okay, like I said, some of you guys are spending a lot of time alone and reflecting. A lot of you guys are connected to the mermaid, the, the sea goddess, okay, the sea witch energy, because this is you. This is you. This is like half female, half mermaid, your tail's in the water, but you're connected. Okay, exactly, you're connected. Hmm, abracadabra on the bottom of the deck. I cannot make this up and touch the sky, okay? It's almost like... You are manifesting what you want through visualizing your dreams. Half the time, you're not even in the 3D. You're in your 5D energy. You're in your mind. You're literally, um, it's almost like you're envisioning what you, you're going to create for yourself. It's almost like abracadabra energy. Here you go. Choosing to um, build. Take the pain and take all the hurt and take all the betrayals and Turn it into something amazing for yourself, empowering yourself with that, writing a book, a novel, okay, singing music, making music, okay, to heal your pain, sharing this gift with the world, you're amazing, okay, you were meant to be a star, okay, so yeah, you're transforming your life. You have a testimony, you have a story, you have a song to sing, or you have you have to show other people that if you can do it, so can, de so can they. Some of you guys are powerful teachers and leaders. You're not only just a, a, a reader or, or a powerful empath, but you're also a healer and you're a leader, okay? Someone could be 34 or 32, okay? And somebody that's in their 50s, somebody that's like in their 50s, 50 years old or up, Okay, this is an elder. This is someone in your family or around your life that feels like they're observing you. They've been watching you. They've been putting you through all these tests all your life to see how you're going to defeat the energy they sent towards you. Okay, the betrayals, the lies, the slander, the gossip, the leaving you out in the cold when you needed them the most. They were watching you the whole time go through everything and they were entertained. They were entertained by you, Aries. Okay, but at the end of the day, okay. All that, they, all that, um, observing and watching, they also gonna, they're also gonna be able to witness your, the rise of you, the rising of the phoenix. They're gonna be able to witness you becoming a star, you becoming a master ma magician, a master alchemist, you being recognized and loved by many. Wow, that gave me the chills, guys. Okay, and here goes a mermaid's love. Some of you guys have a little fairy spirit that you see. Maybe you caught a fairy spirit on camera when you were taking pictures outside in nature. Some of you guys have this story to tell. Some of you guys are beautiful painters or artists, okay? You could be painting or creating, but there goes the, the, the little fairy. You are connected to the fairies. The fairies protect you, okay? Sea witch energy, like I said, your hair is very powerful. That came out in yesterday's message. And mer a mermaid's love, okay? So you and someone else have a past life in Atlantis together where you guys were married, where you ruled the kingdom. Wow. Well, you guys were very, very wealthy. You and your past life soulmate, a mermaid's love coming back together. Okay. This, this is coming back together. And because you guys recognize that you are 
the elixir to life. You are the universe, okay? You are the flowers. You are the animals. You are the air that you breathe. You are every element, okay? You embody all this energy and you found the elixir to life that's within inside of you. Wow. And everybody wants to know what is your secret? What are you doing? How did you do this? Okay? Because people are still stuck in the past around you. People are still stuck in their own past ways and toxic ways. And they're judging you for doing something different. They're judging you for letting go of that. They're judging you because you decided to work on your own and take your own path and lead others. They're judging you for that. Okay? Because these people can never reflect. They can never do what you did. It takes a real warrior to go through what you went through and do what you did. So I, I, I applaud you. Okay, the most high God is awarding you. He is comm comm um, commending you for all your hard work. Yeah, and there you go. The perfect key. You found the perfect key to success. Some of you guys have birds or connected to the birds. You have a parrot. Okay, they're beautiful. These birds are like spirit guides to you. Okay, some of you guys have your heart in a cage because you're not opening that cage to your heart until somebody comes with the perfect key. But somebody with that key is coming in and they're going to approach you and they're going to open that lock that you've been having on your heart for so long. And this is going to be the power couple. Okay, this is going to be um, a love meant to last for so many lifetimes. Okay, because the journey was real. Okay, the, the things you went through were real. Nobody would ever believe if you told them half the things that you had to go through just to survive, okay? Just to love yourself, just to have your, your, your value to yourself, just to get some respect on your name, what you had to actually go through. That's crazy because they always knew you was the queen. You was the king. They always knew you was that golden child. You came to shine light on darkness here. Wow. Yeah, and the angels would been with you to the moon and back. They protect you to the moon and back. You hold energy for the you you are connected to the sun, you are connected to the moon, you are connected to the freaking stars, and you are an earth angel. Look, that beautiful earth angel right there. Okay? Because you sit high above your distractions, you sit high above the chaos and conflict because you are a bearer of light. You come to bring love and peace, and this is why they always try to destroy you. Okay? Yeah, all these little triumphs you've been having, reward yourself. Accomplishments, reward yourself. Um, dealing with hate and controversy and still keeping your head up and moving forward and loving yourself, reward yourself. Because that takes a true, true warrior, a true earth angel to go through this and still having triumphs and still moving forward and still very grateful, okay? All is connected and you are connected beautiful okay protect your hair protect your crown take a coconut cleanse cleanse your hair with coconut milk and remove any blockages from your crown and your hair okay wrap your hair up in a scarf or whatever protect your hair protect your crown okay because you are blessed with this beautiful um energy of being clear audient clairvoyance clairsentience okay because you can listen you can hear you can tune in to the universe and your guides they're always with you you're always connected you're always listening to them beautiful this is a beautiful reading by the way aries i love you guys so much if you guys would like a personal reading reach out to me my email is down below i'll be happy to guide you anytime till the next time i love you guys namaste